Hi Sag, welcome to my channel. We're doing your why do I do? <laughs> We're doing your weekly reading for the 9th to the 15th of July. Okay, this is you and the other person. Okay. Yeah, I'm only goofy I think in front of the Sag because we're all just all about fun. <laughs> Fire sign, will of fortune. Things are changing for you, Sag. Jupiter ruled. Good luck is coming your way. Or karma is shifting towards your way. Oh, I want to say it like that. I have to see it. I have to say it. If I see it, I have to say it. Okay. Right. So, anyhow, so I'm gonna keep looking up. Thank you very much, Rosanita, to the GoFundMe. Um, please do subscribe to Cosmetology, where I talk more than this. <laughs> and yeah, um, visit Jupiter and Cancer for our online store. Also, if you guys like stuff that I have, which I have to forgot about those stuff already. Okay. Anyhow, let's go to your reading, Sag, you and the other person, because you know how I spend extra time on the Sag. I'm kidding. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sag. This is you and the other person. This is you, Sag. Ha! I shuffle this! Queen of Wands! <laughs> okay. Queen of Wands has this, this energy of, you know, because the king is commanding. This one is seducting. This is you, Sag. You people just see you as alluring right now. This is your energy. This is where you show your yourself at the highest vibration that you can be, meaning you're owning true to yourself. And people are just drawn to that. Okay. King of Pentacles. Okay, you can probably have, you know, earth and you know fire in your chart, but it appears to be you're stable, very well manifested with regards to earth energy, meaning um, you're secure. You're not a person who is irresponsible. You finally probably learned something from Saturn um, to manage what you want with life. I think the Pentacles knows what they want. And they're not that they're persistent, they know how to make things work because they have experienced what is slow and what basically they know what is slow and they, they like slow. And for, for you, it's showing here that you have passion and calculating what, what it takes to be with a person. The tower, see? That is karmic right there. The, the energy that you're doing is not who you are, meaning you change, you shifted life. You shifted who you are for this person. You made major changes, okay? So you made ch major changes, major life choices, okay? Um, this is accepting, you know, that I, I am broken and I have to start again new. I will, you know, that's what I'm doing, you know, that's, I mean, you know, in the sense, like, that's what they're doing, not me. But I say, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just going to be, you know, I'm going to absorb this energy of destruction, of the, you know, and I will build myself. And you did, King of Pentacles over there. This major arcana over here is destruction. It's when you have experienced something so strong in your life that you will come out even stronger. Okay? This is not for the babies, you know. This is a this is a person who's king and queen. The other person, nine of pentacles. They appear to be can be younger than you. Same thing, stable. Stable in the sense that they know what it is to take, uh, what it takes to be in a relationship. Hard work. They believe in that. This person believes in hard work. They have invested their time also for themselves to finally where reach where they're at. Page of Swords, younger than you. Who's watching you though? Either or, but the message is on hold. Can be because they're taking care of their finances, their stability over there, but they're there already. I mean, they're coming out there. Nine is finality. Okay. This other person. Secrets over here. Something not being revealed, or they're trying to learn to trust themselves. When we keep secrets like this, or if there's something hidden, Sometimes it's because they're protecting themselves. Let's we'll see where the central issue. For the Sagis, central issue. Seven. Are both of you just workaholic? <laughs> okay. Because you have here. It's like. It's meant to grow if it's planted. 
That's what I'm seeing here. Because Seven of Pentacles is, yes, it's a lazy ass person who's waiting for things to come to fruition. Yes. But the thing is, this person is taking a break because things has happened already. And now it's just a level of manifestation. And nobody is in a rush over here because that's why I'm saying it's like you're taking it slow. The other person needs some time because they're they're younger, can be. Their vibration is not par to you because you have court cards over here. Okay, either or. Uh, but they're there. They're moving towards it. Let me just, you know, clarify this more. I'm just going to get one more card. What is the Seven of Pentacles? Magician. Look at that. I said waiting for manifestation. And if you wait, things will move on. Things You will have the complete knowledge. The other person likewise. In this three major arcana over here, okay, you have here 16, okay, 17, 18, 19. Okay, the 19th card, if I'm not mistaken, okay, I'm just gonna look for it and you stay there. I'm gonna show you. The 19th major arcana. Because 16, 17, 18, 19. That's, I'm doing this by numerology. I have to do it like that because they're asking me to do the numerology of what is the add all those three major arcana, elimination. Whatever this was, it's gonna be gone. Okay? Now that is you know that is an orthodox way of doing it, yes, but they asked me to do it. Okay. Because, yep. I thought it was the star card, but it's not. So this can be, you know, connecting with a fire sign also. You can be connecting with a strong Aries energy, a strong water sign. But the manifestation is here. Allow the tower, allow whatever is not hidden right now, because later on things will come to surface and you will understand what they were coming from regardless. And 19 card. You will understand it. A bright future. I was surprised with that. I never thought that I can do something like this. But sometimes, you know, it comes in different ways when I read. This is what it is there now. Allow this major arcana. These are major things happening. I don't sense any malefic over here. Except the tower. You, Sag, has a very shitty, shitty past life. Or has been having, have, having, being in that situation, okay? Other person is just being restricted. Restrictive. Doesn't want to open up. They can talk, but they cannot talk with their emotion. But later on, you will understand it. Because they will give you this, or you will give them this to them. Okay. I like it when it becomes like that, like fluid. Like I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay. Well, majority of the time I just read. I just they just tell me. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, Sag, thank you very much for watching. If you like the way how I read, okay. You guys already I, I already explained this. The Sun card. Okay. One, eleven, squiggly. Okay. And eleven. Uh, you know, this is twenty-two sun rays. 22 major arcanas. That's why I said I have to count it because they want me to see it. Okay, and then the baby is pure, the horse is pure and white, going in the same direction, which you would feel this energy or it just comes out. Basically, it lifts up your intuition later on. Okay, but for the level one, we're doing this reading for level one. Yes. Okay. So thank you very much, guys. If you need a reading with me, um, link is down there. I'm booked for July and August is second week already. And if you guys need a uh, next day reading. I only deal with three a day. So if you guys need it, book it now. And then, what else? Yeah, and I think that's it. I wish you guys well. Good things coming. Slow, steady, but it goes far. Okay? Have a wonderful, wonderful July, guys. Bye.